Hey guys, my name is Paul Lee and I'm in 12611 Technova. Today I'll be talking about the FSR or the force sensitive resistor. An FSR is a sensor that allows for general measurements of force. It can produce extremely accurate readings, but for telling whether or not there is or is not a force, it is an effective solution for very minimal cost. The one our team is using is only $8.95. Link in the description below. Reading is produced by measuring the effect of resistance. When there is no force, zero current is conducted and resistance thereby is effectively infinite. The larger the force supplied is, the lower the measured resistance will be. The relationship is logarithmic. FSR itself has two outputs, but to connect it to the hub, there will need to be three inputs. A bit of soldering work is required. The first step is to solder the blue and red cables of an encoder head to the two outputs of FSR. It doesn't matter which goes to which. Be sure to solder it quickly as the heat can easily melt the plastic. Grab another encoder cable and cut all wires except red. Solder a 10K ohm resistor to connect the black wires. On side of the resistor, we'll call it side A. Grab the blue wire on side B and solder it to side A of the resistor. Once you finish soldering, you would want to wrap all of the exposed wires in insulating tape or casing to prevent shorting. Lastly, connect the two-wire output of the FSR to the two-wire side of the encoder with an encoder connector. To test the FSR without a robot, you will need a multimeter. Set the meter to resistance setting. To make testing easier, you will need to insert two individual female headers into the blue and red outputs of the encoder head that has three cables. You will probably need two people for this next part. One person will hold the two heads of the multimeter with the two heads of the female headers. The other person will press down on the FSR sensor. If the number gets smaller as the pressure increases, you'll know that you have successfully built a FSR circuit. To use your FSR sensor, connect it to the analog of your hub. When a heavy block enters instead, the weight sensor detects this and turns to LEDs red to alert the driver. We created this video hoping it would help advance your robot. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe.